Hey guys, last line of defense, K seal. Let's try. So for this, we're gonna need to unlock the vehicle. Lock the hood open. Last line of defense, guys. So we're gonna need to open up the radiator overflow tank. It is best that you remove the thermostat in order to uh, do this uh, K-seal type of thing. So hold on. We're gonna need to open the bottle. Something. Okay, I don't wanna get my finger to put the wet on that. So with K-seal, you pour it in the same way you where you pour in the radiator water and you have to shake it up before you pour it in. Basically pour it in, start the vehicle up and go. That's it, like the instructions are like super simple. It says it seals it up in three minutes. So now we're gonna need to start the vehicle up. Before you start the vehicle up or pour K seal, you do need to cool the vehicle down completely. So now it's on. Normally you would need to uh, put it on heat and run it on heat. Like a full blast in heat. My AC is on. We're just gonna put the economy mode. But you wanna run it kind of like on heat with heat coming out. So we're gonna wait like three minutes and we'll see if it actually repairs itself. But here's what's going on guys. Please watch my other video. So guys, we are just basically running this. And as you can see, it's not overheating or nothing. Um, I do want to open up a window because, and you want to kind of stop it like that. So I don't know if there's anything going on this point of course the water came out because i opened it up and i let it come out um, we do have a leaky radiator on this side which could be also contributing to the fact that it's not cooling properly and it's going to be leaking well it's going to be overheating the car because of the air pocket somewhere in the system but we don't know that so basically the engine sounds good but i do want to run it and Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go ahead and actually just shut the hood down. And I'm going to try to drive it. Well, let's see. I just turn the air down a little bit we got the auto so we're gonna go into drive and just drive around the business park and let's see if anything's happening if the temperature gauge is going to move so what I'm gonna do is just make laps around the building So it's definitely been at least three minutes right now. And it says pour it in and go. Um, we used up one bottle. I may buy one more bottle just to see, you know, if it's, you know, if this doesn't help, I could try like one more bottle just to see, you know, what's it gonna do. But I heard some good things about KCL. I've seen videos about it and it worked, but I might just try two bottles, you know? I might just try two bottles if it doesn't help it because I really don't have my hopes up too much, but I got a good feeling about this because part of the reason is uh, this Range Rover is not overheating while it's just idling part. So that's already a good sign. It overheats uh, as you're driving it. And last time I drove it for, I'd say about five minutes in a video because you know it's hard to tell that video has been recording for a while and I think I was already like on a nine minute marker when I started driving it but I think I drove it three to five minutes and it started overheating but before doing it I did two laps 
around the building and then well maybe i did like one lap but then i drove it out and i drove it on a different type of parking lot just to change up the scenery a little bit then i took it on the road and i drove it normally it was not overheating and now it's starting to creep up so what we're gonna do is um we're going to go ahead and you know find a parking spot And back it in. So now we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. So appears to me that three minutes of driving it went into overheating mode. So that's kind of like a good indicator. So I think last time something similar was going on. So this is gonna be the end of the video, but I will attempt to just follow me home, lights on. Okay, it is an auto. Um, okay, so I will attempt to just let it cool itself down and then just pour like another bottle in there just, just to see what happens. Um, but I do think that if the radiator is leaking it might not build proper pressure and it will start uh, overheating but i'm gonna let it cool down and my next plan is i'll go ahead and actually uh, fill it up with water again i do have water with me just fill it up and and then also put that um k seal in there and try it again well that didn't work thanks so much for watching guys i'm back at autozone checking out these other head gasket fixes I'm going to try this new coolant system repair. Let's see if this is actually going to seal up my radiator. Then we're gonna be on to the next stuff. Thanks for watching guys, bye-bye.